Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. I'm just making myself a cup of coffee before we get started today. I'm using my favorite Starbucks creamer, the caramel macchiato, and I'm putting it in my cup first. I'm also adding a little splash of milk because I'm impatient and I can't wait on my coffee to cool down. So I'm putting a little bit of milk, but the key is to put that creamer in first. Have you ever tried that? Y'all let me know. I always put it in the bottom. I don't know what it is about it that makes it taste different, but it is so much better. So I'm just using my K-Cups here. I like the Sam's Club Breakfast Blend. I'm gonna get me a cup of coffee made. So in today's video, we're gonna go shopping. I'm gonna take you shopping with me. We're gonna go to Target and just gonna look for some home decor items. I'm not doing anything um, specifically for the holidays today. I'm just going and looking around. I'm gonna get some ideas. I'm planning to redo my bedroom, do a little refresh in my bedroom this winter. And so I like to just go and look around and get some ideas. Now, if I do come across any Christmas items, I will show those. Um, but today's video is more just an in general, all year long decor video. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, find you a nice warm blanket and cozy up and let's go shopping. Let's see what we can find. If you like today's video, be sure and give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more. I hope that you enjoy. First stop today is Target. And as soon as I go in Target, I always check out the dollar spot to see what I can find. I'm loving all their little shelves and risers and little wooden things that they're having lately. I feel like you can decorate these for every season. There's so many things you can do. I love this little Christmas tree. I thought that would be cute to store your essential oils if you would use essential oils. And these risers and little trays are adorable. I love to look at their faux florals in the dollar spot. This was so cute, $3. I think I may regret not getting that. Um, and then also their picks. These are just good neutral greenery that you can use year round. These are $3 each and you can just put those throughout your home in vases. I love these soap pumps. I use this for my dish soap, but these amber bottles particularly are so cute for fall and winter. And I loved the one with the green on the bottom for Christmas. I thought that would be really cute. So moving on to the hearth and hand section, we don't have a really big target. And so we don't see a whole lot of the hearth and hand items, but they had a pretty good selection today. They already have a lot of their winter and Christmas items out. I love these little trees. I feel like they're a good price, $14.99 for the big one and $9.99 for the smaller one. These can be used all winter long. So not necessarily just for Christmas, those can be completely all winter. Like I said, I'm hoping to do a little refresh in my bedroom sometime this winter. And so I'm looking at some new bedding. I love to look at the hearth and hand bedding. I think it's so pretty. It's always neutral, but it has lots of good textures, um, usually some stripes and things like that, that just bring it some nice texture. But I thought these were really pretty. I think they are 129 for the queen size. Um, that one was really pretty. I loved this quilt. You could put that down at the bottom of the bed. I just like to get ideas. I just like to browse through. I loved this pillow sham. It is just the best texture. And then it has the um, little tassels on it as well. But it's $20 for one pillow sham. I try to watch for clearance on these items. They will put these items on clearance. I love this quilt, $70. Again, I like to watch for clearance. Um, but that would be so pretty on the bottom of your bed. And the texture and the tassels are to die for. They have lots of nice throw pillows that go along with their bedding, um, just accent pillows. I love the textures on these too. Um, I feel like their prices on the pillows are a little bit more than what I like to pay. I think that you can probably do better at TJ Maxx with pillows. Um, but they do have some really pretty styles if you want something that actually matches the bedding. Getting into the hearth and hand kitchen items. I just love all of their little kitchen goodies. I think they are so cute. Um, they did have a pretty good bit of Christmas 
prints and um, Christmas items out in this section too. I'm really liking the green. They're doing a lot of green for Christmas this year and I like that. I loved these washcloths. They're almost like knitted, I guess, or crocheted. They are so cute. I did not find a price and I did not find any more of them. I love this green. I like these flower sack tiles. They're only $3.99 and they're huge. I like to take one of those and put it over the handle of my stove. I love that green for this time of year. They have so much stuff. I'm just really in love with all of it. I don't need it, but I'm really in love with most of it. I have been eyeing these coasters for quite some time and I haven't broken down and gotten them. They're $11.99 for four coasters. I just think they're so cute. I love kind of that boho feel of them. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but here's another one of the flower sack tiles. I have this one. I like to just do a neutral one, hang it over my stove, and then on top of it, I'll put a holiday tile or a more festive tile on top and just layer them. It makes it really cute. You have probably guessed by now that I love coffee mugs. I love the hearth and hand mugs. The big size like that you saw me using at the beginning of the video, the black one, that's a hearth and hand. I love that size. Here it is in white. It's the exact same mug. I don't have any white ones, but these are only $3.99 and they are excellent cups. They have some really pretty wooden pieces. I actually bought this tray and returned it because it was too big. It is huge. Um, going back to the mugs, I thought these two would be really cute as a wedding gift. Morning beautiful and morning handsome. Wouldn't that be cute for a wedding gift um, for the bride and groom? Again, there's a little Christmas one. It just says Merry. I like to keep a mug on my Keurig for the different holidays, so that would be cute. I'm in love with these crock pots. I want them so bad, but I feel like I need to let my current crock pot tear up before I can go and buy them. These would be great Christmas gifts. Here are some more wood tones. I love these cake stands. I like to put my diffuser on these. They had two different ones. This one is, oh, you can see how heavy it is. <laughs> this is the smaller one for $19.99. And then the taller one, I think is $24.99. Hearth and Hand also has amazing bathroom decor. I love their bathroom. It's simple. Um, love the shower curtains. I have one of their shower curtains, but the towels, everything is just simple, but so pretty. I am really eyeing this tray. I love it. It has real leather handles. It's a good, good size little wicker tray for only $16.99. Um, woven tray. I am really trying to figure out where I could use that in my home. Here are some of the shower curtains that they have. I don't see the particular one that I have in my bathroom, but they are all so gorgeous. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love tassels. This is the mirror that I have in my entryway. If you saw my fall home tour video, you saw it. I really love it. And it would also be very pretty in a bathroom. It's just really a wooden um, frame, although it kind of has a gold look to it. It's wood and it is gorgeous. Don't forget to check the back aisles in each department for the clearance section. Um, every department that I go through, I just look and take a quick peek to see if I see anything that I like. I was just browsing through the lamps because I would like to get some new lamps for my bedroom. Y'all, why are lamps so expensive? They are so pricey. They have some really cute ones here, um, but they are so expensive. The ones that I'm eyeing for my bedroom, I'm kind of going for a boho theme in there. I love these. I think they are gorgeous. They are $50 each though. So that's either going to have to be a Christmas present for me, or I'm going to have to watch for a sale or hopefully even clearance. Um, but I do love those. This one's really cute with the little basket. That would be cute for a desktop and an office. You're seeing more and more little lamps like that. I think they're cute, and you're seeing a lot more gold tones lately, I noticed. What do y'all think about that? Do you like that the gold is coming back in? Do you like those brassy tones? Y'all let me know in the comments. Just browsing through the accent chairs. I thought this was really cute. I thought it was pretty. It would be pretty in the bedroom as an accent chair. $200, a little bit pricey. It looks like it would be comfortable, so you could even have it in your living room. 
They have lots of cute options for dining chairs. So if you've got a table um, and you just need some chairs, like maybe you repainted your table and you just need some chairs, they have lots of options for that. I have this faux leather chair. It's what I use in my office as my office chair. I love it. It is so comfortable and it has held up very well. Um, $70 and I feel like that's a fair price for it and it is so pretty. Here are some of my favorite things. I love these throw blankets. We cover up year round, so we cover up even in the summer. I have these things laying around. But this one I have in an orange color for fall, but it's Sherpa lined. It's so soft. And I really like this tan color just for year round. It's a nice neutral color. This is very soft too. This one is $20, but you can see the texture on that. It's kind of a chenille material and it's super soft. I love that color too. $20 on that one. Here are some more in more of the fall tones. I love some of these tones though, just for year round, but these are really pretty and you can kind of get some ideas. I love this one. It's another one of the $20 ones, and I really like that color. Like I said, it's neutral. You could use that year round if you wanted to, but these are really pretty for fall. Now, I wanted to look at the bedding today, and I love the Casaluna line at Target. Look at the texture of that, and y'all, it is so soft. I even like that color, but I'm gonna have to think about what color I'm gonna paint my walls because I'm not 100% sure. My bedding now is white, and I really like this white set too. Look at the texture. I'm all about texture. I really like that. Looks like these sets are 129 for a queen size, which is what size bed we have. They have really pretty chunky knit blankets. This one I liked because it doesn't look like it would shed um, and it's so soft and cozy. But I'm really liking that brown tan color. They have so, such cozy throw pillows and throws and blankets. Everything about this line just screams cozy to me. Now I have this blanket in two different colors. I have a gray and I have a rust color, but I'm loving this oatmeal color. It's just neutral. There's a pretty pink, there's white. I feel like white is a nice winter color. I have a gray one similar to this, but there's that tan again. I didn't see the rust color here. These are really chunky knit blankets. I'm wondering though if these would shed. Anybody that has these, let me know. Are these bad to shed? Because they are gorgeous. Here's some more colors in the um, comforter. This is kind of a off-white creamy color. It's pretty, again, with the beautiful texture. I really like that. But they have this comforter in a lot of colors, even um, a black there that's a little bit unusual, but that's kind of cute. And then there's a pretty almost brown color here. I like that too. But like I said, I'm gonna have to decide what color walls. These are just some more of those chunky knit blankets that I told you I have in two colors. I found them in some different colors here. I think that green is really pretty. That would be pretty across the foot of your bed, like with maybe white bedding or even the oatmeal color bedding. They have it in a lot of different colors. $59, I believe, for the queen size. And then I found a few of these. They're velvet quilts. They are so soft. I just thought they were really pretty. $69 there for the quilt. They had some soft, soft, fuzzy throws. I really like those. My kids love those, but we have so many of them. I really don't need any more, but they are so soft. They even had comforters out of this fuzzy, furry material, the whole comforter out of that. Oh my gosh, I would never get out of bed. They had these big, huge pillows that were made like that too. Again, don't forget to check those back aisles. Look for those yellow signs for your clearance items. Um, sometimes you have to dig through there a little bit, but it's worth it because sometimes you can find some really good deals on those clearance items. They had some pillows. I thought this one was really pretty. It has a nice texture to it. They had some pillows marked down. This one was marked down to $10.50. I thought that was a pretty good buy and that was a cute pillow. Um, also, don't forget that you can buy these just as your stuffer pillow and then you can buy pillow covers to go over them. These chargers are only $5 and they work great as a base for like your island, your kitchen table, your coffee table for your centerpiece. You can put candles, greenery, just little knickknacks and this makes a great base for those and it's very inexpensive.
Always have a great selection of pillows. I would say look for pillows with a zipper so that you can buy different covers and just use the inserts. Um, that's just the best bang for your buck. Moving on to some kitchen items. I always think they have the prettiest canister sets, although I don't have canisters sitting out on my countertops. Do you guys, do you have canister sets sitting out? I think they're pretty, um, but I'm kind of picky on cluttering up my countertops, so I've never actually had a set. I even like these just solid glass ones, but I love these glass ones with the wooden lid. I feel like you could use that for a lot of different things. I'm trying to get some ideas of what I could use that for. So y'all let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. I like to use essential oil diffusers and I like to put room temperature water in my diffusers so I keep some just in different kind of little jars. So that's cute. Those are five dollars. You could use those beside your diffuser. They have some really pretty glassware here and some little beverage dispensers. That'd be pretty if you did a lot of showers and things like that. I have this cake stand. It's marble on top and then it has a wooden base. It's very heavy and very good quality. Um, you've probably seen it in my videos. I have my Aria diffuser on it. It is gorgeous. They also have it in this Lazy Susan that looks really nice too. They have a lot of wood tones and just like the black up there. I just think all that is so pretty. Um, especially you see a lot of all white kitchens now and I think that the wood tones really add a pop to that. This was pretty. It's marble on one side and wood on the other. They had a little miniature version of it there. I thought that was really cute. I like to prop those up behind things on my counter to kind of hide outlets and things like that. I like to do that with these cutting boards and that just gives you some ideas of what you could use that for but they have some gorgeous wood tones. I was actually leaving when I came across this mirror and I wanted to go back and record it. It's so pretty. It's a wood mirror with scallop details. This would be so pretty in an entryway, above a fireplace, or even in a bathroom. That is it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me. Maybe you got some ideas, a little inspiration for decor. Did you see anything you liked? Do you have any of these items? Let me know in the comments below. Let's chat about it. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also you can find me over on Instagram at Our Houston Smith Home. I'm going to upload a new video every Tuesday. So my next video is gonna start the Christmas season. I'm so excited about that. Hope y'all will tune in and check out what I got going on for Christmas this year. And we will see you next time. Bye.